KP classes dedicated to excellence. Welcome to KP classes, everyone. Today's video is regarding mining officer post uh, came up in the Madhya Pradesh PSC. So in last year, 2023, Madhya Pradesh uh, PSC have come up with a notification for a mining officer uh, for the geologist uh, students, uh, geology candidates. Uh, and uh, this month, uh, the exam details and the syllabus are come, uh, have come, the notification for the exam have come. So let's have an idea about the MBPS examination. Now when it comes to the mining officer exam, there are altogether five vacancies are there. And uh, in these uh, five vacancies are for the post of, as I've mentioned, mining officer. And uh, the uh, department that you'll be getting job is mineral resource department. Uh, the salary bracket is present over here. The uh, process for the post uh, is actually through three different steps. There will be an offline examination, interview, and then through all these two, they will uh, they'll be getting your they will be taking the candidates. Now, when it comes to the examination. They have mentioned in the notification that if there are students, uh, the number of applicants are less than 500, then there won't be any exam. But though they have come up with a notification for the examination, we know there will be an exam coming and the date is given tentatively as last week of June. And the result will be announced tentatively by July of this year, last week of July. Uh, when it comes to the uh, entire exam plan and syllabus of, uh, were up, uh, uploaded in the MBPSC website uh, in this month of 5th. Uh, now, when it comes to the examination detail, altogether 3 hours of section uh, of uh, total uh, 150 questions will be there. 50 questions from uh, part A, 100 questions from part B. Part A is for uh, the general science section. Uh, part B is the geology part. Now, when it comes to the part A, the detailed syllabus is provided over here. These are the major topics that you have to go through. Go through. History, uh, culture and literature of Madhya Pradesh, geography of Madhya Pradesh, politics and economy of Madhya Pradesh, the current affairs associated with the national Madhya Pradesh and international news, uh, information and communication technology. Now, from this section, uh, 50 questions will be there and it's mandatory to have 40 per 40 percentage mark from part a same uh, uh, the minimum of 40 percentage in part b is also required for the qualification of uh, the examination after qualifying the exam they will be conducting the interview interview is uh, given 50 marks worth and then uh, the candidates who scored highest will be considered uh, for the selection processes. So, the your aim is to ma score ma maximum in the examination and also to score maximum in the interview. So, when it comes to the entire geology section in detail, here this is the, uh, the exam syllabus that is provided in the uh, website of Madhya Pradesh PSC. So, over here, altogether, uh, first unit is of geodynamics and geomorphology. Details of each topics are provided over here. So, from this, the basic part of geodynamics, plate tectonics section is required. Interior of earth and plate tectonics, that's what we required from geotectonics. Uh, when it comes to uh, the geomorphology, the physical geomorphology part, fluvial, aeolian, uh, cast topography, volcanic topography, glacial topography, deep, marine topography related details, landforms, drainage pattern and the ge geomorphic features of Indian subcontinent. So, you just need to go through the uh, basic, the rivers and the river patterns, the details regarding the subcontinent of India is also required. Now, when it comes to petrology, uh, from igneous petrology, magma, types of magma, its classification, thermodynamic section, uh, the basic classification of the igneous rock, forms, texture, structures of igneous rock is what required. Metamorphism also different agents of metamorphism, types of metamorphism and the texture uh, and the structures of metamorphism, zone and facies of metamorphism. When it comes to sedimentology, basic processes of sedimentation, structure and textiles found in sedimentary rock uh, and the classification of sedimentary rock. So, very basic topic is what we require. Now, when it comes to mineralogy and crystallography, mineralogy we need the basic uh, crystallography section 
and the physical and optical mineralogy part, silky structure and classification of silky. Then when it comes to the other mineral groups, uh, you need to go through only olivic, garnet, pyroxene, amphibole, mica, feldspar, and silica group. In geochemistry, just basics of geochemistry, geochemical classification of element, that is lithophile, sidrophile, chalcophile elements in its and its details are required. Other than that, just basic geochemistry is what we need. Stratigraphy also they have given the detailed section. Just go through what is given in the syllabus. Principles of stratigraphy, uh, correlation criteria, geological time scale, distribution, stratigraphy and economic importance of Archaeans of South India, uh, distribution, stratigraphy and economic importance of Kadapa and Bindian, uh, same way Gondwana supergroup, Jurassic of Kutch, Cretaceous of South India, uh, the distribution, stratigraphy and economic importance of decantrops, Bag and Lameda groups, uh, uh, Shivali groups. These only very few topics are provided over here. So we don't need to overdo, you don't need to study the entire tritones, nothing. Just what's given over here, go through the topics of that. Uh, in paleontology also, they have asked only really the basic terminologies, fossils and their modes of preservation, morphology, classification, evolutionary trend, Geological history of trilobites, graptolites, echino echinoids, brachiopods, gastropods, lamellibranchs, and cephalopods, uh, vertebrate paleontology, uh, and only the basic idea of vertebrate, vertebrate paleontology. So, there, maximum you have to discuss, study about the uh, it, uh, vertebrate paleontology related to horse, uh, the evolution of man, and the uh, evolution of horse, evolution of man, and maximum evolution of uh, mammoth and the, the elephant part. All that much is what we required. Paleobotany is also mentioned over here of flora, uh, Indian flora of lower and upper Gondwana. Structural geology, basics of structural geology, fold, fold, join, all their classifications and their detail, uh, the basic idea of mapping, strike and dip calculation. Uh, rock deformation mechanisms, uh, top and bottom criteria, unconformity types, economic geology also, just basic part of uh, our geology section is given over here, processes of mineral deposit formation, uh, the non-metallic mineral deposits of India, then uh, national mineral policy details and also Madhya Pradesh mineral policy is also required. Uh, when it comes to the hydrogeology, scope and importance of hydrogeology, hydrogeological cycle and its applications are there, vertical distribution of groundwater, hydrological properties of rocks, types of aquifer, exploration of groundwater, quality of groundwater, groundwater provinces of India. Now, next one is the remote sensing. Uh, the basic sections of remote sensing and the very elementary part of GIS is what we need. Uh, applied geology is actually uh, mining geology, uh, the geophysical, uh, geophysics part, reserve estimation section, uh, then the engineering geology part, portion. These are the terms associated with the applied geology. So, um, only go through those topics that are mentioned in the syllabus. Uh, don't overdo the geology. You don't require the entire geology when you compare with the, the geoscientist examination of UPC and net CSER examination or gate. Here we just need very basic data. So go through the sections associated with the syllabus only. And then if you want help, you can go enroll in our MBPSC course that we have launched in our KP gate class application. So go through the uh, our KP gate class application, download the application and search for MPPAC mining officer exam course and all the required, only those which are required is provided over here, not all geology topics are there. So whatever you require for the part B section of uh, MPPAC mining officer examination is given. You can avail the course in just 4,999 rupees now. So anyway, uh, this is about the Madhya Pradesh PhD exam. Uh, so if you require any more details, you can contact us in the number given in the description box. If you want to avail trial classes, that also the link for that also provided over there. So thank you so much.